common problem within education is making sure that students are learning as well as staying up to speed with the curriculum. Since many kids learn at different speeds, some might need a little bit more help than others. Because of this, keeping up with each student can be difficult. Together, the BSC group has developed an application that can relieve some of the weight. But first, let's take a look inside of the classroom. Two pictures. Tell me what you see first. Wait until you see both pictures. Ready? Cat. Oh, hold on, let's try it again. You have to wait till you see both pictures. Okay. Ready? Cat. Tree. Tree. <laughs> Which picture did you see first? Uh, kitty. 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 Kitty, the cat. Good yes. job. So, cat. So, our application is called Path to Literacy. For Unit 1, we did a theme of kind of like nature and the outside area and as you can see um, this is a prototype for unit one pretty much the student is presented with the picture and what the picture is um, or at least what the word is made of for this case is football this is the workflow for the app um, the student gets all the images or uh, just a single image and they're supposed to either speak to the microphone and that's where voice recognition comes in and um, in this case they have to click on the correct picture it's asking for uh, which one's treehouse so if they click correct on the first time they will get three candies and this right here is a little gif animation that um, literally moves like a little video and they get three candies that um, just go in the screen and then they're prompt to the next um, activity, which is asking them, okay, click on peanut, which is peanut, and they'll be able to click on that. So basically, if they failed, um, it will loop with this um, right here two, two, two times. And if they get it right on the second time, they will get two candies. If they get it right a third time, they will just get one candy. And these are also little animations. Um, and if they don't get it right all three times, it just goes to the next scene. As Alejandra mentioned, our application allows students to learn through repetition as well as rewards. Although they won't be receiving real life candies, this allows children to stay encouraged and teachers to keep track of how fast they are learning. Later, we will discuss how the actual grading is done. But first, let's take a quick look at the application with Chelsea. The first thing we do is first record the noise and save it. And this will perform noise cancellation for all of the word recognition that will happen later in the app. And if we go into the text box here, we can change the username to the names of the different students. I changed it to my name. and then we press login. Today, we're going to play word games. First, we have to learn what a word is and what parts of words are. Listen to me say a word. Sunflower. Say sunflower. Good. Now, look at the word sunflower. The word sunflower has two parts, sun and flower. The parts of the word are put together to make the word sunflower. The parts of the word are sun and flower. The word is sunflower. Let's do that together. The parts are sun, say sun, and flower, say flower. Good! When we say the parts of a word, we can stretch out our hands one at a time. Watch, sun, flower. When we say the word, we can clap, sunflower. Now you try it with me. Let's say the parts of sunflower and stretch out our hands one at a time. Ready, 
sun, flower. Now, let's clap when we say the word. Ready? Sunflower. That short demo shows our application as a teacher. Simply using repetition as well as hand gestures to allow your child to quickly grasp the concept. Now let's show off your application a little more, this time with voice recognition. But first, we will demo how the application works without any response. You will see how the application understands that no sound means that the child has either left the application or simply not paying attention. I'm going to show you what happens when you don't respond. Let's say the parts of the word football. Foot, ball. Now let's say the word football. Let's try it again. Goes say to the, the next parts scene. of the word football with me. Foot, ball. Now I am thinking of something else to play with. I'm going to say the parts of the word baseball. Listen, base, ball. Let's say the parts of the word baseball. Base, ball. Now let's say the word baseball. Baseball. Yes, baseball. Now let's say the word football. Incorrect. Let's try it again. Say the parts of the word football with me. Foot. Ball. Now let's say the word football. Incorrect. I'm going to say the parts of the word baseball. Listen. Base. Incorrect right now is the trigger for when it's the wrong word. You have now witnessed voice recognition. Now let's take a look at another functionality. Sock. Our touch interface. Sock. I'm going to say the little parts of the word. Listen. K at. Now I'm going to point to the picture of the k at. Now you point to the picture of the k at. Hmm. This one. Cat. Listen again. Darn. Got it wrong. Now you're going to the picture of the cat. Maybe it's this one. Cat. Now you point to the picture of the cat. Oh. Yes. I said the little parts of the word cat. Let's try another one. Point to the picture of the s -ock. Yes, I said the little parts of the word sock. Now that you've witnessed the touch interface function within this app, I will show you the last and final lesson of Unit 1. In case you might not remember, let's take a quick look once again at how our teacher Kristen teaches her class as this lesson closely relates. I'm going to say two words again. Listen for the first one. Wait until you hear both words. Ready? Okay. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Okay. Grape. Grape. Cherry. Um, what word did you hear first? Grape. 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 Yes, grape. Good job. Pencil. Yes, pencil. And that's the end of Unit 1. Let's go look at the grading application. So we have our iPad, which we just completed the application on, plugged in to a laptop. Okay. All right, now we're going to show you how the teacher is going to be able to see the grades. So we're opening up the, uh, the iPad file system with a program called Disk Aid. Let's just see what's stored on the iPad. We have two different users who have 
uh, completed the unit. Let's see Chelsea. All right, let's see her score for unit one. They got three correct out of 16, which is an 18.75 average. So they did not advance to the next unit. Far out of it. The database has folders for the grades, as well as for the images, sounds, and voice. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Images are then broken up into the different units. If you go to unit one, right now there's only one lesson, lesson A. Then the variations are all of the different assignments the student has to do. So football, baseball, sandbox, treehouse, thunder, all of those you might have seen in the last application are in here. They're saved as text files, which contain the byte arrays of the images. Okay. And I guess delete it, and then we'll show them what happens when you delete it. Okay, we're going to delete the folders, and then restart the application. Now we're adding back in sounds and the voice samples, but we've deleted the image file. Make sure I, yep, exited completely out of the application. Gonna start it over, not even gonna worry about voice and login. Today, we're going to play word games. First, we have to learn what a word is and what parts of words are. Listen to me say a word. Sunflower. Say sunflower. Turn the volume down. And you can see, oh, not that down. You can see that all of our images are gone because our image folder is gone. That's because those weren't images at all. They were actually planes that we were using C sharp code to render the images from their byte arrays onto the planes. Let's do that together. The parts are sun. And because of this code, we can add any new narrations, sound files, voice samples, or images and they will be loaded at runtime by the iPad. Um, this is Unit 2 prototype. Uh, the theme was underwater and the rewards were seashells. As you can see, um, this is pretty much how the unit looks like. There's not much really to show here because it sort of looks like the activities from Unit 1 where it shows you the word and it shows you the strips of the word. Um, right now they're blank because they are supposed to be replaced with images at runtime. Now. The way these lessons were built, uh, Dr. Goldstein gave us a bunch of files with exactly what we needed to do. So for instance, this is how I build this activity called variation. Um, I mean something we call variation. Pretty much he tells us, okay, we'll show a picture strip of a rocket together. So here are the strips of the rocket together. And then it says pull strips apart, um, pull strips apart together. So now you guys can't see it because there's a picture, but the strips are supposed to move back and forth, back and forth as if they were like splitting apart. And then right here he tells us if it's correct, then we go to the rewards. If it's incorrect or there's no response, then we take them to a scene where um, it prompts them to uh, to answer again of the units. This is unit 3. This is a prototype for unit 3. We did a space theme. Um, right now, uh, since we only have unit 1 completely with animations, this is just like a placeholder. This is just a 2D speaking narrator. 
So this is a little script on how I did and how I moved the animation or the objects in Unity. So for instance, um, on the script it said that he wanted to point to the picture animation. of the bear. All of the animated so, uh, using Maya these are all uh, JavaScript. This is a free um, pretty much you just create them in whatever text editor and you just drag and drop the them to this, uh, this pointer. And uh, these are just Unity well functions. So on sound. start, we want the pointer to move from out of the screen to this place, which is specified by this coordinates. And this is just a function um, from Unity that uh, it's called lerp. It pretty much just moves the pointer from out of the screen to the screen. Anyway, thank you. Who is first in line? Um, the bear. bear. Yay! Oh, bear. The bear. bear. Yes, the bear. Good 